I'm Tammy Rubin. This is my show, Everything You Ever. Everything You Ever is a sculptural show um, of current works based on the native Texas plant, the ball moss. And I've been using that as a signifier of gatherings. Thinking about like anxiety, of conflict, of clashes, um, thinking of tangles and knots and the way that we all kind of interact with each other. In the middle of a room is an installation of the ceramic forms that hang and there is a pathway that you can walk through. Um, the palette is a collection of like brown colors and I was really thinking of like skin tones, like the range of, of skin tones. They're both visible and invisible because you can see through them to the forms that are beyond, but they also obstruct the space. The way that I approach this work is that the, the ball moss is actually dipped in porcelain and they become these accumulations on these cone forms that I've been using a long time. The cone forms, I reference everything from um, funnels to Ku Klux Klan hoods to the Caparrera hoods for the, the Brothers of the Nazarene to stupas. And they have all of these associations that are, um, are changed just how they are placed. And so in this particular ones, e each one of these forms, which are closer to this kind of um, icon of like power and also yet absurdity are um, camouflaged or configured with the ball moss. And some seem like they are surviving the, the weight and some are being destroyed by the weight. It really became this idea of like thinking about how uh, these tendrils big, interact with each other in some places that they are like clashing or are they coming together. And so I thought that that was kind of interesting to, as a way of thinking about people, how we behave uh, or how we interact within society, about we are this collection of people. And, and at times we um, are, you know, we moved in a direction with each other and at times we are in conflict with each other. The work is specifically made of not only just porcelain, um, but also steel wool and wire and pieces of cotton as well. So these different materials that once fired in a kiln um, really change um, what they look like, but then also they, they keep like these remnants of what was there before. The ball moss during this process, however, is completely destroyed. So it's fired away and then what we're looking at now are the, like the capillaries, like the open spaces, the ghosts of what was there. And now it's something new. Some of the titles for the pieces um, are things like walking, talking, worshiping, um, eating, waiting. Um, and those are individual works where there is uh, more darker tones um, and in, in some places like a very like flat kind of black um, and thinking of them as places of um, both uh, memorial and kind of contemplation of things that are ordinarily, uh, ordinary and mundane tasks or just part of being a human being that um, for some people are become very perilous to the point that they have, like they have lost their lives. The end is a, an opening, it's blank, so you can fill it in um, with how, however you are interpreting um, your uh, interactions with the show or your feelings at the moment. So everything you ever wanted or feared or hoped for, um, it is that kind of realization, is a space that, that can be filled. At times we um, try to avoid each other and you know, end up 
like crashing into each other. And in other times, um, we purposefully make um, interactions that are like meaningful. 